Morning. So I'm at Erith Bridge at the moment. It's, I think it's about 20 past six in the morning. Another early start. Um, just walk back over to the bike. So contrary to what some viewers have suggested, this isn't the same bridge footage that I use on all the videos and kind of just cop copy and paste into the, uh, the kind of running sequence of videos. There are a lot of waterways out in this way. Um, obviously we're, we're kind of, this is all floodplains over here. So when, when the sluice gates open down at, down a market sort of near the wash, all this kind of floods. So this is, um, there are a lot, a lot of waterways around this area. So, um, but yeah, so I'm at here with, uh, I've come down from, obviously from Warboys, down through Fenton, up to Piddley, Summersham, through um, uh, Cone to Erith, and then I'm going to head down that way. So I'm going to go down, um, actually down there, you can't see the road at the moment, but it follows the River Ouse, um, heading down towards Willingham. So I'm going to head down to Willingham, um, turn left out through Rampton, down to Cottenham, Histon, down through King's Hedges, down into Cambridge, um, along King's Parade, through the town, and then head down to um, the backs, so along the back of King's College, up to the Arbury, up, back up to Histon, on the bus route, and I'll go all the way up the bus route, uh, past Swayze and I think it's Fendrayton, um, up to St Ives, which is kind of over that way. So the bus route kind of comes along here. So up to St Ives, which is over there, and then back up from St Ives, um, back up to Piddley, and then back to Warboys, which is over there. So yeah, brilliant. So it's a bit of a manky old day. Um, we've had some heavy rain recently. Um, hopefully the bus route won't be flooded. It is prone to flooding um, when we've had some quite heavy showers and we have had over the last probably two or three days. Uh, it's not actually supposed to fall. It's not supposed to rain today, um, but it is really dark. And uh, so I've got the coat on. Um, you know, if it does, it does. So, um, so yeah, so be a good ride. There's no wind about. Um, I think it's forecast to pick up a bit later today. But yeah, so um, let's crack on. I'll see you in a bit. riding through Willingham and I used to come down this way quite a bit because I used to ride this way to work when I worked in Cambridge and I can't, I've actually forgotten how bloody awful the roads are along here they're just so gnarly that road the old river road from Erith down to the, the, the beginning of the village back there it's just so bumpy, it's unbelievable. And you can probably tell 
by the way the camera is dropping at the moment that this is so bumpy this road it's really bad I mean, although there's a bit of a smooth section now but bloody hell back there it was it was oh god it was really rough really bad so let's move this out of the way a little bit so yes yeah, so i've just come through willingham I'm just coming out of willingham now heading through to rampton and as i say these are very familiar roads because I used to come this way to work years and years ago I used to ride along here before I started using the bus route for the majority of the journey but I don't I don't actually come down this way that often now because obviously I don't, I don't work in Cambridge anymore and I don't tend to, I don't even come down here in the car that often so it's, um, it's good just to kind of revisit and just have a ride out this way I mean Cambridge is an awesome city anyway as hopefully you'll see with some of the some of the footage um, hoping it's not going to be too busy I mean it's still only well, it's just coming up for seven in the morning, so we should be there by, well, we easily should be, be there by eight o'clock. Um, so yeah, I can't think it's gonna be too busy at eight o'clock on a Sunday morning. So, I will get you back on the, probably, stem cam at the moment, which, on this road is probably going to be a little bit more stable so I'll put you back on that um, and yeah I guess I will talk to you next when I'm in Cambridge so I'll see you in a bit
sat in front of the um, King's College Chapel, which is behind me. Now the college, just to give you a bit of background, the college is one of 31 of the Cambridge colleges, actually on the Cambridge College campus. It was, um, the college was, was established in 1443 by Henry VI and this building here, King's College Chapel, was actually built by the general monk botherer himself, um, Henry VIII, between 1446 and 1544. And before any of you smarties watching um, say, no, that wasn't built in just under an hour. They say it's from dates that it was built. So as I said, it's one of 31 colleges on the, on the uh, Cambridge University campus. And they combined, they have a total wealth of around 6.9 billion pounds. So that, ladies and gentlemen, right there is your first. <laughs> to the bus route at Histon. Bus route goes up that way to St Ives which is the way we're going and then down that way to Cambridge. Uh, I've just kind of done a loop of Cambridge which you've seen some of the footage. I didn't really film too much coming out and going through the Arbury because it's it's a bit of a it's not a very nice place so I'm going to be heading up to St Ives now and um, Just going to do some kind of short bursts now of film going up to St Ives because it's just a dead straight flat. It's a really good tarmac, but there's not really a lot to see. So, um, yeah, so I'll just do some kind of short bursts and then I will see you when we get to St Ives. So I'll see you in a bit. <laughs>
So I'm in St. Ives on the quay side, and you can see the bridge there, which, which spans the River Ouse, or the River Great Ouse. So Cambridge is down that way. Um, that's the old mill building, just there, that one. And then you've got the, the bridge there. So I've not actually stopped um, by a church this time, but the, I don't know if you can see around here is actually a chapel. So the this is only one of four bridges in the UK, in England, actually with a chapel on it. So the bridge was, um, well the chapel during the, the 1700s was actually used as a brothel and then by 1736 it became a house and then in the 1850s, between 18, well, during the 1850s and 1860s, it was actually um, converted to a pub called Little Hell. And then it actually after that, it became a doctor's surgery. So um, it's actually been converted now to a, a, a chapel and it is still actually used for public service now and again. So um, I've never been in there. I've been up past it a few times. So regarding the bridge, the bridge, um, as you can probably see, has got um, sort of round arches that side, which is the south side, and then uh, more kind of gothic arches this side. And during the English Civil War between 1642 and 1651, Oliver Cromwell and his troops actually demolished from the chapel this way and put a drawbridge in to stop um, King Charles I and his troops approaching from Lincolnshire and trying to get down to London. So the, the, the bridge was actually rebuilt in 1716 and the arches, rather than have the original sort of round style, the arches um, were built in a, in a more Gothic style, which was obviously um, the kind of fashion of that time. So that's St. Ives. I'm now heading down towards, um, or back up towards Warboys. I won't film too much of that because it's going to be quite boring on the roads there going up through um, St. Ives. I'll film a bit through St. Ives, but then once I get out of town, I'll be heading up towards Piddley and then um, sort of back towards Warboys. You can see it's raining now, so um, I will leave you with a view of the bridge and soaking in the aftermath of another fax bomb. See in a bit. Riding up Piddly Sheep Lane, it's a bit of a pull up to Piddly, which is up here. I've actually just stopped and taken my coat off because I was getting really hot, and it looks like it's going to piss down with rain again. I've been quite fortunate coming out of Cambridge, it was like really drizzly, and then a little bit on the bus route as well. And then while I was back there in St. Ives it was a bit black and drizzly but I'm only a couple of miles from home now so I don't unless it really opens up I don't think it's really worth putting the coat back on it actually be nice to 
cool off a little bit. So, excuse the heavy breathing, but oh, this is, God, blimey. So, just coming up for 43 miles in. God, I felt that bit. Um, yeah, 43, 43 miles in. It's been a nice ride. Um, obviously, the the bus route section, as as nice as it is, not to have any um, any traffic banging past your elbows. It is pretty boring. And there's always, there's always a headwind as well. So, yeah, I've ridden down there literally hundreds of times. So I used to use that route going to work and coming home in the evenings and kind of cycled on it most days from the kind of end of February through to the beginning of December when I used to commute in and it um, always used to have a headwind you know you so lucky, God blimey, so lucky if uh, if you had a tailwind and obviously when you did get a tailwind we'd really take advantage of it so I used to quite often cycle home with a couple of fellas I work with so we'd draft each other up there and you could really get ahead of speed up you know certainly with a wind behind you you know it wasn't 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 uncommon to be kind of cruising along there at 35 mile an hour plus which you know I know the pro guys probably do double that easy but for me yeah that was that was quite exhilarating so anyway so I'm rambling on a bit you can see it's getting quite busy it's just gone it's about it's coming up for half ten so um, people are starting to get out and about now in the cars but so I'm I'm heading through down towards Piddley Church I'll um, I know the battery's going on the GoPro a bit I've had a few issues with the GoPro today seems to be I did a firmware update yesterday and it's it's a little bit temperamental today so I don't know whether it's just the batteries or you know sometimes it it can be like that because I've, I've had to take the battery out a couple of times and kind of reboot it but um, so I'm gonna stop nattering I'll stick you on stem cam for the remainder of the journey probably again do some short bursts because I mean you've pretty much been on me uh, been on this ride with me down here so you know these route this road so I will see you back home, hopefully, with a nice cappuccino. I'll see you in a bit.
um, I think that was that was just under 46 miles it was actually a really good ride um, the roads were absolutely appalling the roads I mean I, I, I knew that anyway because the roads are into Cambridge and through Cambridge I mean considering the, the amount of bikes that are in Cambridge the roads and even some of the cycleways are absolutely appalling um, it's good to see that they're they're resurfacing or they're widening the cycleway kind of going out of town up towards um, up through the Arbury and up towards King's Hedges um, hopefully they'll kind of run that through the town as well but um, yeah but it was it was a good ride um, weather was a bit rubbish um, real drizzly coming out of Cambridge a little bit on the bus route and then you, you might have seen it when I got to St Ives as well it was it was really drizzly um, but yeah, so home now, got the coffee. I'm gonna have something to eat because um, I didn't eat before I went out and I am starting to get really hungry now. Um, so yeah, I'll grab a bath and then I will go through the the route on the, on the laptop. So let's cut straight over to that. So looking at the Cambridge route, uh, starting War Boys, which Obviously is there. So we headed down through Fenton, um, past the church to Piddley, and then took the road down through Somersham, down through to through Cone to Erith, and then uh, that was the the bridge there. So the River Great Ooze. And then we followed the road along past the river and then turned away from the river and headed down towards Willingham, which is here. Headed through Willingham and then got on the road through Rampton and then um, down towards Cottenham. So there's a Rampton Road, so into Cottenham there, and then headed down towards Histon. So got to Histon and then went over the A14, which is that bit there. So we went down there, round a roundabout, and then turned left and headed through King's Hedges and then cut down Milton Road into town. So over the River Cam, past Jesus Green and into town, headed up Sydney Street, past the Round Church, and then turned left and headed down towards King's Parade. So you've got King's College just here and then out of town, past the Fitzwilliam Museum, turned right down the Fen Causeway, and then right again, so kind of running parallel then, so we're going along the backs, so that was the back of King's College, and then out up towards the Arbury, so we went through the Arbury, and then back up to the A14, so we kind of, that was a big circular route there. Onto the A14, cut down into Histon, and then joined the bus route, and then the bus route went all the way up through Swavesy, past Fendrayton Lakes there, up to St Ives, and then at St Ives, I went round the um, the industrial area here, headed up onto the Piddley Road, there's Piddley Sheep Lane, and then rejoined the kind of Piddley Summersham Road, and then back down through Fenton, and back down to Warboys. So just looking at the numbers, it was 45.6 miles, it was a riding time of just over three hours, so three hours, six minutes, average speed of 14.6 mile an hour and uh, 183 meters 
in height. So it's pretty flat. I wasn't really going too fast. Um, but yeah, it was a good ride. I would say it was on quite familiar roads, quite um, bumpy roads at time. And um, yeah, I'm not sure where I'm going to go next, but I'll be sure to take you with me wherever I go. Um, so yeah, thanks again for watching and I'll hopefully see you on the next one. Cheers.